Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fun, and today I have a card featuring the brand new Let's Play stamp set and coordinating dies. And I created this fun little outdoor scene with the little swing set and um, dog and bird from the Let's Play stamp set, as well as the greeting. To start my card, I'm going to stamp the images that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to stamp those on some smooth white cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and then color them in with Copic markers. And I'm using the swing set, the little dog, the actual swing itself, and then a bird. There's all kinds of fun little critters and other little elements you can use to build all kinds of fun little outdoor type scenes. It makes me long for war the nice warm spring and summer weather. I will color these in then with some Copic markers and I decided to give my swing set a pop of color by coloring it with some red markers. I'm using R24 and R46 and I'm just going to color in the majority of that swing set. I'm going to kind of leave where the um, hardware is there at the top and I'll color those in with some cool gray markers in a little bit. I am doing really quick coloring, not doing a ton of shading here for this. It's a pretty small um, image as far as the coloring space goes. So I just kept it to these two colors, blend that out real good, and then go ahead and I'll color the swing the same thing so it all kind of coordinates together. And then for the dog, I'm going to use several shades of brown. I'm going to start with E30. And I kind of built up the color here. I wasn't quite sure what color I wanted to go with. So I did E30, then E31, and then E55. And I still felt like that wasn't quite as dark as I wanted for some of those highlights. So I did end up taking a little E57 and adding that to kind of add some shading and shadows and things. And then I blended that back out and I kind of went backwards from that point going with E55 to blend out that dark, dark E57. And then I went in with E31 and finished with a little E30 to really blend it all out. I added a little R20 for the cheeks, not a lot. And then took a black gel pen to add definition to the eyes and the nose. Here are those cool grays that I'm going to use for the hardware on the swing set. Just using C4 and C7. Again, not a ton of blending. And then where all those little hardware marks are, I took the black gel pen again and added some definition to those. I used Y0000 for the stomach on the bird. And then I'm using some blue-green markers to color in the rest of him and then a little orange for the beak. Blending that yellow back into the aqua. I like how that looks when it's blended together. I added a little dot detail then to the bird and finished with the orange beak. Now I'm going to use the coordinating Let's Play dies. And I actually ran out of post-it tape, so I'm using a little washi tape that I had laying on my desk. And the only thing, I was a little afraid it might stick or tear to any of the stamped images so I was really careful to try to just keep that washi tape only on the die itself and not um, place any of it on the actual stamped and colored image. But otherwise it worked great and then I just ran that through my die cutting machine to die cut all of the elements here for my card. So once these are all die cut I can die cut the rest of the pieces that I need to build my little outdoor scene. Pop all of these out real quick. I like to always like to make sure that I pop my dies out as well so that I don't accidentally pitch them in the trash or something like that if I leave them connected to the paper and the tape. I'm going to die cut a little surf blue cardstock from Simon Says Stamp using one of these stitched square dies from Lawn Fun. This is going to be the base or background of the scene I'm building. Then I'm going to die cut another square from some green leaf. Simon Says Stamp cardstock. And from this square, I'm going to take the Lawn Fawn grassy border die and die cut a little bit of grass to help build the outdoor scene that I have here. 
And the reason I die cut it with the square first is because I like that stitched detailing and I want that part to be visible in the scene to kind of finish off that whole square. So I, this particular die I usually like to run through at least a couple times because I feel like it gets a much nicer cut. So there's what that's going to look like. Next I am going to die cut a picket fence. This is the new picket fence die from Lawn Fawn. I'm die cut that from a piece of white cardstock and I didn't show it but I did die cut some of the spring showers clouds that are stitched cloud dies that I'm going to use to help build my scene as well. So those are the elements I need. I can go ahead and get rid of my die cutting machine for now and put the whole scene together. I'll start with the clouds and adhere those to my blue background base layer get those positioned right where I want them. And you can see that some of the clouds are overhanging the square. I'm going to be trimming all of that off. I'm going to go ahead and attach the fence next. And then I can flip over this square and trim off any of that excess overhang because I don't want any of that to just hang over. I can attach the grass next. I like how that looks in front of the picket fence. And now I'll go ahead, since I've trimmed off any of that excess, I can go ahead and attach that to my white card base. And I will stamp my greeting using the Lawn Fawn Black Licorice ink. Place some adhesive on the back of the little swing set. And for this, I tucked those back swing set legs into the grass and left the front ones to sit in front. Just give, gives the whole scene a little bit more depth and dimension that way. Now for the swing, it's pretty thin, so I'm going to use the Zig Glue Pin to add a little liquid glue there. And then attach that right to the swing. I like to flip my card as I'm working. Now I purposely decided not to attach the swing part. I thought it gave it a little bit more motion. So I took an acrylic block and set that where I placed the glue on the, the uh, ropes of the swing. That way it held those down and hopefully it'll keep the little seat from flying up. Used a little liquid adhesive to attach the bird as well. And then I'm going to take some adhesive and attach the dog. And that will be it for this card. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the brand new Lawn Fawn Let's Play stamp set and coordinating dies. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching.